Okay, I'm always seeing, this is, well, I'll just tell you what it is. It's a paint palette. It's a very small area of a paint palette. I photograph a lot of painters, and wherever I see paint palettes, I've got to get a section in and photograph. I just love the colors. This was up in Maine. This is in an old yard for old cars, um, abandoned cars, whatever. I knock on the door and say, please, could I... Um, take pictures. My daughter's with me. She's probably 10. She's got, just got a bird we bought at, at an auction. The bird is flying all over the place. Lauren's chasing after the bird. I'm trying to take pictures. Anyway, um, I, I got a lot of good ones from this, and I sent them back to the people that I sent them to, and I called them. I said, did you get the pictures? They said, you can come back to this, to, and it was all gated and everything. He said, you can come back and photograph here anytime. So I, I did. This is in Corsicana. A lot of you people may know. I've seen that. Oh, this is a building that's in McKinney that I'm photographing now. It, photographing and now I have a studio up. It's not a studio. This is the studio. I mean that. Okay, there's a story behind this. I'm in, I'm in Nederland, Texas, and I'm with two other photographers, and I see this place, and I said, oh, what is this place? I want to, it was crowded, and I said, I think I want to photograph here on the way back. We were going to the Goodwill to get props. So on the way back, she passes right by. I said, no, 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 go back. I want to see what's in here, and so we go in. It was a beauty salon. They were as surprised to see us as we were to see them, and they said, um, we, uh, <laughs> my friend says, we're just a couple of white people, in case you hadn't noticed. Well, of course, they noticed. Me with my white hair, and we had shorts on, so we asked them if we could photograph, and this is one of the photographs that I had taken. I love it because it's so sp spontaneous looking. I photographed barbershops, beauty shops all over the world. This is in, uh, I believe, Mexico. I'm looking at everything again. The more you see, the more you see. The more you think and feel, these are stairways. This is water. I spent eight hours looking at water. Um, it was very therapeutic. I was amazed at all the colors. As the day went on, the light from the sky changed, the reflections changed, and so on and so forth. So I look at water and reflections differently after spending eight hours shooting that. Okay, these are the kids that came to my class, the young students here. And they were so much fun. So everybody had their camera. We took pictures. And again, I want to thank artists in the lane for, for asking me to do this. Um, it wasn't easy. I had to learn PowerPoint. I had to get Mike back there to help me learn PowerPoint. He still has hair, by the way, if you're all wondering. Um, the computer and I are not really, I don't have a, well, let's just say I'd rather shoot pictures than sit at a computer. Um, but thank you for the work that you do with these kids for 19 years because uh, I, I think it makes a difference. And from the work I saw earlier, it looks great. I want to go shoot at the flea market the next time these guys go. So thank you very much. I thought, I thought it was going to be the band. You do? Next time. Yeah. got to get rid of that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. 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 Once again, round of applause for Ms. Gail Neville. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, as we proceed, we have next proclamations, recognitions that we need to present our esteemed photographer with, lecture. I will introduce one of our photographers, one of our instructors, Miss Beatrice McBride. Thank you. Wasn't that wonderful? I feel like I should have my passport here. Anyway, thank you, Gail. I'm going to read off about three proclamations. The first one is from Helen Gettings from the state of Texas. 
and it's a resolution whereas award-winning Dallas photographer Gail Mugel has been selected as a featured speaker for the 19th annual guest lecture series hosted by the Arts and Lane Thornton Foundation for the Arts on July 25, 2009 at the Dallas Museum, Museum of Art. And I'll just read the last part. Resolved that Gail Mugel be honored for her contributions to photography and that she be extended sincere best wishes for continued success and inspiration. That's from State Representative Helen Gettings. Wow. And this is from the House of Representatives. It's a certificate of special congressional recognition presented to Gail Mugel in recognition of outstanding and valuable service to the community. Very nice. And this is a special recognition from the City of Dallas, from the office of Duane Carraway from the City of Dallas. It says, whereas Gail Mugel discovered her love for the camera early in life, she received a camera as a gift from a family friend and she began taking pictures with, an, with an enthusiasm and passion that were reflected in all her efforts behind the camera. And when she saw her films drawing in a dark room, she knew that this was going to be her field of endeavor and whereas Gail sharpened her photography creativity by attending the Texas School of Photography in College Station to continue her to developing her own style and worked for 14 years with the prominent Getting Studio of Photography, fine-tuning her art and craft. And the last phrase, now there, therefore I, Dwayne Carraway, Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Dallas, and on behalf of Dallas City Council, do you hereby extend recognition to Gail Noble for her fine artistic expression and inspiration to the Youth of Young Photographers program, signed Dwayne Carraway. Thank you. I'll turn it back over to Doc. Do you want to come up? Here we go. Here we are. Thank you. Here, come on in here. Of course, here. Let's open it. Let me hold that one. Wow, all I can say is wow. State of Texas. Yeah. Woo!